Hey, what's up, geeks? This is Deron Brown, your instructor from Geek Mode School of React Native. And in this video, we're going to tackle the lonely integers algorithm. Now, this is a pretty easy algorithm. Basically, we have an array of numbers, and we're going to see which number within that array does not have a duplicate. If you take a look at the example we have here, we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, as you can see, 4 is the unique element. So, that's what we will return. All right. If you take a look at these examples, you can see the same thing. We have an array of the size 3, and uh, we have duplicate 1s, not duplicate 2, so we return 2 because 2 is unique. All right, got it? So I want you guys to scroll down and to copy this algorithm right here, paste it into your IDE or text editor. Now make sure your screen looks identical to mine's. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to check if we have anything passed back to our um, lonely integer function. So if A is false, return false. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to sort our array. So using JavaScript's built-in sort method, this is basically going to update our array to be 0, 0, 1, 1, 2. All right. Now let's loop through our array. Create an index variable, set it equal to zero, as long as our index is less than a dot length. And we're going to increment our index. Now if there goes our logic. So if the number in our array is not equal to the number in our array, the next value, let me see, let me put this out real fast, plus one. So what is this saying? If this number in our array is not equal to this number, then we'll add the logic. And in addition to this, we have more. So and a dot index not equal to a index. Hey, what's up guys? Deron Brown here. I just wanted to remind you, at the end of this video, make sure you check out the website www.geekmode.tech. They can learn more about React Native, Firebase, and Redux. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our free course as well. I'm sure you enjoy it. Now, that's enough of me, and I'll let you guys get back to the video. Hi. All right, so what we're basically saying is we're going to go through each one of our indexes. So we're going to check if this value is equal to this value and if this value is equal to this value. All right, if we have that, then it fits our condition. Console log A, we're going to get our index. And we're going to return this value. So make sure I describe that again pretty well to you guys. Okay, so you take a look at this, we can see, make sure our index of zero, we're gonna start here. So zero, and then we're gonna see zero plus one. So zero, that equals, that fits this condition. And we wanna see if zero, one, if a one, not equal to a minus one. So that's, that doesn't fit this description. We're going to go through each one of these. So if we get a1 plus 2, so if, 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 all, if all two of these fail, basically all of these have to fail, then we're going to return it because we know that value is unique. All right? So I'm going to go ahead. I don't know how many times I keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and just console log this. At the rank and lonely integer and two. You can see two is the only thing that fits it. It doesn't meet any of these requirements. All right, so there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead, move that console log, and we're gonna copy our function. I'll return the hacker rank. I'm gonna paste that in there, and now let's run our code. Submit it. Let 
Yep, there you have it. There we passed all our tests. Hey, I earned my second star. That's lovely. I should have been at that. But hey, it is what it is. So you passed the test, guys. And um, yeah, that's it for this algorithm. Like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything you want me to co uh, cover, feel free to contact me, and I'll catch you geeks next time. Peace.